How's it going guys? This is Splattercat and tonight I am playing a little bit of War Z. I'm just going to do a quick let's play, maybe a video or two here to kind of let you guys get the feel of the game. There's been a lot of chat about how the game is a scam lately since it showed up on the Steam front and I'm not sure whose camp I'm in thus far. Um, I haven't been super impressed by the gameplay, but I am willing to give it the old college try once more. So I've got a couple hours played and this is the first character I've made in a couple days just because eh haven't felt like playing, but I'm going to see how far I get here and just kind of narrate and talk you guys through it and go over some of the, the things that are similar and some of the things that are different between this and DayZ, which I think is where a lot of the confusion is coming from. Or I may do no comparison between the two at all. It depends how much rage it's going to cause. But I mean, the game in and of itself is not bad. Um, thus far, it's not the game that has irritated me. It's been more the UI and... Uh, generation like respawning choices by the by the developers I mean I can't say that the game has annoyed me yet um, it's more or less the decisions the developers have made that have annoyed me but let's take the negative aside and just kind of play the game um, right now I'm in the northern edge of the map sneaking into a town called let's see, Frosty Pines Resort Town um, and we're gonna see if anything interesting happens while I'm up here I am crawling just because I don't seem to have a lot of luck with crouch walking. Every time I try to crouch walk I end up getting destroyed, so... We're gonna take a look here. I'm just gonna chill on this hill for a second. Just kinda take a look at the streets and see if we see any individuals prowling around because I'm really not trying to get killed. Um, getting killed in this game sucks. It's not like Daisy where you can just respawn. Getting killed in this game is a legitimate pain in your ass. Um, there's a four hour respawn timer. Um, you can get around it by deleting your character and making a new one, but once they put the XP system into the game where you use XP to level up your character and get different skills and things like that, you're not going to want to delete your character. So it works right now. For the terms of the beta test, I have no problem deleting my character every time I die and making a new one because the XP isn't worth anything. Um, I may be losing a little bit of currency, but honestly, I don't care that much. gonna be slow going here for a bit. I am just trying to keep an eye on my surroundings because the last three or four deaths I've had have just been other players just being assholes. Um, it's part of the game, you don't get mad about it. But it does become frustrating when people are killing you when you don't even have any items. So... Take a look here and see if there's any other zombies around. Um, I think I am gonna bludgeon this zombie to death just so I can move a little quicker. Um, I haven't really memorized the distances you can be from a zombie yet without aggroing. It seems to be pretty generous as long as you're not sprinting. Um, they don't seem to really pay attention too well. Put the flashlight away and kind of just keep moving. Um, I'll make it clear that my DayZ skills have helped me zero in this game. They are not at all applicable. The aggro systems are very different. The ways in which you lose zombies are actually very different. Um, zombies are a bit trickier to lose in this game. Uh, you can use any number of tricks in DayZ to get rid of them because they have to slow down when they go through buildings. You know, they get lost in between trees and such. Take this corner kind of slow. I have no idea what's waiting for me right now. This could just be a terrible idea to come to this town, but I have nothing to lose, so we're just going to go for it. Um, there's nothing in this car here. I'm going to go into the police station and see if we luck out and find like a Beretta or something. Um, hopefully there's no zombies in here. I really hope there isn't. I don't really feel like dealing with zombies right now. I wish you could turn the flashlight off and just smack people with it. Maybe you can, I don't know. I'm kind of ignorant of the gameplay mechanics right now. So if I say anything completely stupid, just bear with me. And just know that I haven't played a whole lot. I've played about an hour last night. And... So we've got antibiotics and painkillers. Hopefully we can beat someone to death with painkillers. 
Hey, a B-92. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we need. So now, I am armed. I have 13 rounds. Um, one thing that I have noticed is this game does not bless you with the abundance of ammo that DayZ does. In DayZ, I can usually find... And I apologize if I'm if I'm if it irritates people that I'm making comparisons. It's difficult not to because the two games are so ridiculously similar. Um, this game, though, back to the point, really does not give you a lot of ammo. Um, I think they really want you to buy ammo on the cash shop. Don't quote me on it, but it seems like ammo is available on the cash shop for small amounts of money. Versus. Um, finding it yourself, which I think the most clips I've ever had for a gun is like one or two. Um, I think I had two clips for my B92 last time I played, which is like 39 rounds, so it's not much to complain about. The The magazine volume is a little larger than, say, in DayZ, but I'm pretty sure that pistol would have been gone if there's anybody in town, so I'm gonna, I'm not gonna assume I'm the only person in town right now because I'm kind of paranoid, but... I am, however, going to be a little more brazen. Looks like we've got another pistol over here. I'm going to take a look and see. Ooh, it's a SIG. Okay. I don't know how rare SIGs are. I think I remember reading something about... There are just pistols everywhere here. I don't know if this is a glitch or what's going on. Oh, really? Okay. Well, I guess I will drop you then. I mean, I don't know if you can unload these. Hmm. You don't appear to be able to unload your pistols, so I'm just going to hold on to both of them. And if I run out of ammo with one, I'll dump it and take the other one and fire it. <laughs> we'll do this kind of ghetto mode, since the system isn't in place. What in the hell? I'm not gonna lie, that animation creeped me out for a second. It kind of made me just be like, what is going on in Colorado right now? <laughs> what kind of just craziness is going on in, in Colorado? Um, we've got a little bit of defilade here, so I'm just gonna keep moving. I'm not gonna hit the ground just yet. I'm not really interested in getting in a giant firefight right now. I am, however, interested in finding some basic provisions. Um, I just picked up... well, I have some provisions. I have a can of ham and some soda. This building looks like it's open, but I'm going to go around the back just in case. Sometimes dumpsters have things near them. But so far, we have been lucky. I I want to stress to you guys that finding a gun within the first couple minutes of playing does not happen. Um, that's the first time I found a pistol within any reasonable amount of time. I think I had to play for a couple hours last night before I found my first Beretta. And the Beretta was more or less ammo-less. It had one mag in it. I would be careful going over obstacles. I've injured myself like climbing over counters and things before, which is a little frustrating. But, uh... There are... I don't like that the game has these little, like, camper spots and things. I, it all just seems to promote player killing, which... I would love to see a game like this that is partially cooperation, um, because that's one thing I feel is severely lacking in this genre is any type of cooperation. I don't really uh, trust anyone in this game. I pretty much just shoot them. Every time I've trusted anyone, it's ended poorly. Um, I've made friends with a couple people in DayZ, but more or less it's my same rules as in that game. Just keep your head down and your pistol raised and just don't think about it. If somebody's in your vicinity, just shoot them or you'll probably regret it.
Um, this building appears to be... I'm starting to get worried because these buildings are all empty. Well, maybe not. Let's see here. What don't I need? Um, I do need some drinks, so I'm going to drink one of those and kind of get back to here. I feel like there's going to be a zombie right out there when I step out the door, so I'm going to avoid that situation by going out this way. I feel like he's just going to be right there and he's going to be like, hey, how you doing? And I'm going to be like, ah, god damn it. Because as of right now, I haven't fired a shot yet, which means nobody knows I'm in town if there's anybody here. And I would prefer to avoid firing that shot if I can. Um, the house over there doesn't look open. I don't know if this one next door is. There's a bunch of crates up against the wall. God, that noise is just awful. Clear your throat, bitch. Now, you can hip fire, which is a little weird. And it looks like he dropped a baseball bat. So I am absolutely going to take the baseball bat. Um, I don't have a lot of bandages. I'm not really sure what painkillers are used for, but I know what a bat is used for. <laughs> and at the present time, it just seems more useful to me. Um, oh, I was hoping those crates would let me climb up somewhere. I'll take bandages. You can always use more bandages. Let me see if this bat... I don't know where this bat gets equipped. Okay, the bat is basically... I think it's just a melee weapon. It's quieter, so I'm going to use it for now. And I'm going to throw caution to the wind and just run around here. Because I don't fear zombies. Zombies fear me. So that zombie's down. All in all, this trip has already been pretty successful. We've got two guns, we've got a bat. Um, we are in decent shape, actually. I, uh, ooh, I almost didn't see you, buddy. I'm bludgeoning you to death real quick. Laying down in the grass, trying to be all sneaky. And I don't accept that. We're going to make friends with this side too. And here we're faced with the inevitable truth of the zombie game. That once you have a weapon, they are just not scary anymore. Um, one thing I will say is that you do kind of want to aim upwards when you smack a zombie. Um, because the game kind of... The game kind of registers that you hit them in the head. Um, and I found that it, it registers it a little better if you aim upwards like this. It seems to work a little better. Um, I don't feel like I have enough provisions right now to uh, keep on rolling and just leave town. So I'll keep this video going for a couple more minutes and we'll see what happens. Um, I would like to find a safe zone after this and just... You can take your items and you can inventory them in safe zones. Um, which is a uh, part of the game that I do like. But I would like to gather a few more items before I head there. Um, I'd like to have a... Okay, and the zombies hit counted there for some reason, even though... some money 50 bucks from the zombie so now we can go buy Far Cry <laughs> I am more or less just beating zombies to death to be cruel right now um, I 
gonna say, I hear another one aggroing. I do feel like I should slow my roll a little bit. I don't want to attract too much attention. I don't know what this idiot over here is doing. I do like the sounds the zombies make. They seem to be they seem to emit pretty unnerving sounds versus other games that I've played. Um, I kind of want to search all these cars, but then again, I'm kind of feeling lazy. My bat is already seeing a lot of use. Um, I can search the bus. I'm not feeling particularly noble or brave at the moment, though, so... I'm not trying to turn this into an action-adventure romp. Part of me kind of wants to just make a fucking run for the... Well... I'm gonna go around this zombie. Last time I was in a city, I went in a big building like this and found it like a, an LMG, and I was really happy about it, so... For now, I'm just gonna try and avoid accidents, get a decent supply of items, and then take them back to my bank. Which is the dangerous part, because banks tend to be camped, I don't know. <laughs> When they flinch like that, you want to wait. Um, that's another thing that I've noticed is they tend to get a freebie hit after their flinch if you don't time it right. It's not really a skill related thing, it's more of just kind of their flinch enables them to hit you for free if you're not careful. So. This tiny, this tiny backpack is killing me here. It's not my intention to get into a giant zombie melee here. A Christmas special. Oh boy. So this is going to be that kind of game. Alright, we'll put on the Santa hat for now. <laughs> We're rolling through the apocalyptic wasteland with a Santa hat. Because we like to be jolly while we bludgeon things to a bloody pulpy mess. finish combing this building. Actually, I think I'm going to call this Let's Play to a stop right here, and then I will pick you guys up in episode two. So this is Splattercat, and I'm going to be signing off here. If you enjoyed the video, please do subscribe, leave me a comment, leave me a vote, and I will see you in the next episode.